The Moody chart is a graph that relates the Darcy friction factor, Reynolds number, and surface roughness for fully developed flow in a circular pipe. It can be used to predict pressure drop or flow rate down such a pipe. This chart can be divided into two regimes of flow. Laminar flow and turbulent flow. The transition region from the laminar to turbulent regime is between them. For laminar flow, the friction factor decreases with increasing Reynolds number and it is independent of surface roughness of pipe. So if Reynolds number is less than 2300, we can calculate the Darcy friction factor in accordance with this equation. But for turbulent flow, the friction factor is function of both relative pipe roughness and Reynolds number. So the friction factor in fully developed turbulent pipe flow depends upon them, which makes Moody chart a useful tool for calculating it. The mean roughness values for some commercial pipes can be found on table, and by dividing it with the pipe diameter, we get the relative roughness. Now, knowing the relative roughness and Reynolds number, we get the friction factor. For turbulent flow, at very large Reynolds numbers, that is to the right of the complete turbulence curve, the friction factor curves corresponding to specified relative roughness curves are nearly horizontal, and thus the friction factors are independent of the Reynolds number. The flow in that region is called fully rough turbulent flow. Also, the friction factor is a minimum for a smooth pipe, but still not zero because of the no-slip condition, and increases with roughness. Now, let us do some series calculations. The 200 mm diameter, galvanized iron pipe transport water from a reservoir at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. Determine the friction factor and the head loss of the pipe. If the pipe is 200 meter long, having flow rate 90 liter per second. The first step we do is get the physical property of water at temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. And the next step is to calculate the Reynolds number. It determines whether the flow is laminar or turbulent. The Reynolds number for this flow will be greater than 2300, which means flow is turbulent and at the perfect time to use our Moody chart. Also our pipe is made from galvanized iron, so the mean surface roughness can be easily obtained from the table. Dividing this value with our internal pipe diameter we get the relative pipe roughness. Look, we have both numbers, that is, relative pipe roughness and Reynolds number. It seems our relative pipe roughness lies between these two values. So let us do rough interpolation between these two curves. For that, draw a hypothetical curve between them. And draw the vertical line from our calculated Reynolds number. Our value is 5.73 times 10 raised to the power 5. So look for the 10 power 5 value. Look 1 times 10 power 5. 2 times 10 power 5, 3 times 10 power 5, 4 times 10 power 5 and finally 5 times 10 power 5. Now do a rough estimation of 5.7 times 10 power 5, which lies somewhere between 5 and 6. The point of intersection of these two lines gives a friction factor which is 0.019. Now calculate the head loss from Darcy equation.
which is 7.95 meter. So looky found the head loss. With this head loss, we can calculate the flow work, which is needed to overcome, the frictional resistance of the fluid within pipe.